today's video, we built a set of side steps for the truck so my wife can get in and out without killing herself. I don't want to be seen in this thing. Today I was going to work on side steps for the truck. The truck is really high. Uh, my wife, she's all like four foot nothing tall. I've left it without any type of step for a while and I was like, we'll make her work for it. Cause that's the type of person I am. But now she's pregnant with the second kid. And you can see there's a step. Now I gotta carry around a little step stool on the back of the truck and I gotta play chauffeur. A few years back I tore out a concrete patio and it had this really thick rebar in it. And I've hung on to it for like the past five years. I'll link to that video. So my idea was to use this instead of pipe and just kind of bend myself a little hoop and then put you know a tread on it and call it good. So basically, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen truck steps before, but it's gonna go somewhere right in there. So we're gonna have to get some uh, steel for the decking, and then we're gonna have to build some sort of upright. Originally, I was gonna go to the frame, but the frame's pretty far back there, so it's gonna stick out a lot. So I think I'm gonna use, there's a nice lip here on the underside, and I think that's usually where, you know, if you buy Nerf bars, that's where they usually bolt up to. So we'll build a, some sort of framework that will bolt to that. I'm happy with that for the day. Now we'll go sit on the couch. All right guys, so we're here working on the steps. As you can see, we got both kind of hoops or steps made, the base of them. And then we got our material here for the treads. We got the basic shape cut out for them. And I went ahead and laid out my holes. We're gonna be using a three quarter inch nipple die. So it's gonna be 28 holes. So we got, I went ahead and got one of these drilled out. I'm just gonna stack them on top of each other, run through the drill press to lay out my next set. And then we'll get out the hole saw, cut out the three quarter inch holes, and then we'll uh, simple die them upside down and that'll give us a nice tread pattern. Guys, we didn't make as much progress yesterday as uh, we wanted to on these steps, but we did get them kind of in there. I was working on making some brackets here because right now they're just hooked to this uh, welded seam. And it's not a very sturdy connection, so I'm going to make some brackets here to help uh, stiffen it a little so when you step on it, it doesn't break off. Um, so we're going up through the uh, door here. I'm not a huge fan of having having to have these bolts. So there's gonna be one here and then one down here. But I think this will give us a really sturdy connection. So as you can see, there's like multiple layers here. We got the whole, the corner structure here of the cab as well as the floor. So I think this will give us a real sturdy point and that'll add a lot of rigidity to that step as we get in and out. I gotta get the other hole drilled, get that bracket in there and then we're gonna weld them or tack them into place, pull them back out, fully weld them and
All right, guys. So that is a wrap on the truck step project. Uh, not a huge fan of steps, but I think these turned out pretty decent, and it definitely helps getting in and out of this thing. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. So that is it for today. Have a good day.